Fight Fishy folks and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com for some pretty cool guppies and soon to be plecos. And if you're in the New Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New York, Ohio, Michigan, California, for in the United States, don't forget the Keystone Clash. Uh, the weekend of September 14th, 15th, and 16th in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania is going to be a blast. And it's mostly about cichlids. It's really started as a cichlid show. Speaking of cichlids, let's talk about Chewy, my super red dragon flower horn that I got about two weeks ago from, uh, maybe three weeks ago from Julie Tran. Um, the story goes, uh, one of my friends, Tyler Wallace, who used to own Fish Freaks Plus Fish Food, uh, unfortunately, that business has uh, gone away, but he's big into flower horns now, and uh, he messaged me on Facebook and said, yo, bro, check out this, you know, and I went to check out the link he sent, and boom, there are these gorgeous flower horns. Now, I don't know anything about flower horns. <coughs> Let me rephrase that. I used to not know anything about flower horns. Now I know slightly more about flower horns. I know they're a man-made fish. I know there's a couple different kinds. I know that, uh, you know, certain terms, the cock, which is the bump on the head. I always laugh saying that. Um, I forgot what the little thingies on their, their fins are called. Somebody said, Chewy has really nice ones. And I was like, great, thanks. I had no idea what he's talking about. Pearling, that's something I kind of learned about. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, back to Tyler. So Tyler sent me this link. I checked them out. Julie and I talked for a while and uh, when I say a while like 15 minutes and then I bought a fish and uh, it was a hundred bucks including shipping which overnight shipping which I guess the fish was 50 and shipping was 50 is how it broke down on the invoice but that's a lot of money for me to spend on a fish. You know if I spend a hundred bucks on a pair or a trio of guppies I know that in you know three to six months I'll have my money back by selling their fry. Unfortunately, uh, flower, this flower horn isn't for me to breed and I don't think I'm going to be breeding them. I just kind of want it as a pet. So that's what we got. Anyway, after I got the flower horn, Julie had sent me some, uh, some of this 9.9 .9 samples, which he loves. And apparently that's a pretty good food. And then Tyler said to me, bruh, I'm gonna send you some food. Okay. <sighs> Whatever. You guys know that when people send me food, I do try it. I usually try it on camera. I usually try it live, especially for the first time. And then I'm pretty honest about it. And that's what I'm gonna do now. Tyler sent me uh, this Excalibur Ultimate Flower Horn Food, which if you check all the uh, forms and stuff, um, it it's really like top quality food. It's made in the USA. It's got great ingredients. Um, you know, if Tyler is involved, you, his, his Fish Freaks Plus Flake Food was one of the best I've ever tried. But um, these are three millimeter pellets. And uh, like I said, made in the USA, the first ingredient is whole salmon meal, then whole krill meal, whole herring meal. So there's a lot of, of whole meals in there. This is like a $20 bag or an $19 bag he sent me. Um, it's half a pound, 226 grams. He also sent me, <clears throat> Some Excalibur Intense Red, which I'm guessing uh, embarrasses the fish, makes them red. I don't know why this isn't focusing. Uh, no, I guess it's to obviously give them the red color. And then this Excalibur Mass Effect. And these are both pre-release, so I'm guessing they're samples. Um, same size packages. Don't know a, ho a whole lot about these yet. Um, he also sent me this Rejuvenation Extreme Remineralization Powder which I gotta be honest, last night after working 14 hours, <clears throat> I got home and I was like, I read the ingredients and I was like, I have, I, I don't understand that at all. And then, so I thought, well, nah, you know, maybe I'm tired, blah, blah, blah. I read it this morning. It's pretty complicated to be honest with you. I don't know that I'm gonna use it cause it's on an auto water change system. So I gotta figure it out. Maybe talk to Tyler and see what's up, see what it's about. Um, and we'll go from there. So I don't really know that it's a bad thing that it's complicated. It's just, that's just how it is, right? So, all right, fishy folks, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, get the camera ready. I'm gonna open up some of the uh, Excalibur and see if Chewy likes it. My assumption is because he's a flower horn and he likes to eat, 
like me, uh, he's going to devour it. But the, the thing is, on the Facebook group, I think that's where you have to have to get the Excalibur. On the Facebook group, which I think is called uh, Excalibur Flowerhorn Food, check it out. I'll try to put a link in the description. <clears throat> There's a picture that, you know, that says, like, two weeks later, and it's, you know, a before and after picture, and the fish looks completely different. So that's what I'm going to do. It is, when you watch this video, if you watch it on Friday, it's going to be uh, the end of, of uh, August. And uh, two weeks after that, boom, I'm going to take pictures of Chewy and see if he's changed. I'm going to only feed this Excalibur food for the next two weeks. I may uh, throw in some bloodworms every now and again because I feed bloodworms to the fish room every other day or every day if I have them. Um, fish room's getting so big now that <clears throat> I almost go through a whole flat pack, about half a flat pack a day if I were to feed once a day. So uh, that gets a little pricey. Anyway, let's get into the feeding, shall we? What should you do now? That's right, stand by. All right, fishy folks, live on camera, the opening. It's open now. So, smells like fish food. I mean, a fish food with a good smell, a big smell, I mean, a big smell? A fish food that smells a lot is good for the fish. I think it, it helps them, um, find it easier but so that's what it looks like it's really not focusing there we go i'm gonna drop some in and i'm gonna guess he's gonna devour it i love watching him eat can you guys see that he's eating he's chilling he's like this is delicious sorry about that camera jerk so uh that's kind of unexciting unexciting wow that's the second english screw up that's kind of um anticlimactic i guess because he's eating right but Oh, sorry. I tapped the glass and kind of scared him. Now he's not over here. Come on. There's one more, dude. So he ate those maybe 10 pellets pretty quickly. Um, but to be honest, anything I put in there, he eats pretty quickly. Uh, especially snails. I got to get them snail carcasses out there. I think this weekend I'm going to uh, clean the tank really well. It's supposed to. It's Memorial Day. No, it's Labor Day weekend. But it's supposed to rain Saturday and Sunday. And... Uh, maybe be nice monday so i think sunday's the day i'm going to be down here doing some work i have a gas line to run <clears throat> for a new heater i'm installing so i'll probably do part of that i'm probably going to work on the auto water change system as i said and uh, then i'm going to clean chewy's tank so i guess we'll see what happens with chewy's food all right fishy folks that's it for me for today i hope you guys uh liked it there you go he ate the last the last pellet and that's chewy my super red dragon flower horn which of course, he's not in the in the screen, in the in the frame. Anywho, I'm out. Have a great weekend, everyone. Hope you guys uh, have some good fishy plans. Let me know in the comment below uh, what your plans are for the weekend. And uh, you know, if you have a flower horn, how much do you feed it, and what do you feed it? And if you've tried Excalibur, I'd like to know uh, what you think about it. So that's it, folks. Have a great day. I do like it I usually talk about it a lot because I'm one of those guys that reads all the reviews before I buy something and uh, I always know that if you're looking at a review and you know there's a hundred reviews and there's 95 stars and nine uh, 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 four stars I'm oh, sorry eight four stars and one one star that one one star is probably not the norm what the hell am I talking about Anyway, Tyler um, sent me some food to try, Excalibur flower horn food. Now, here's the thing, guys. It's not focusing. That's the thing. Fishy folks and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Today, not fry, we're gonna talk about Chewy. What the hell am I doing? <clears throat>